Hi, I'm Brent Baird with Instruments Direct, and this is an IFM budget price stainless steel mag meter. Coming up next on Tech Review. <laughs> Welcome to today's tech review. And today our guest is Jeff with IFM. Jeff, what you got there? Yeah, this is the IFM mag meter. The IFM mag meter. So today we're going to learn about magnetic flow meters. Jeff, what does IFM do? What are you yes, known for? So IFM is a company that started in the late 60s in Germany. Wow, I didn't know it was that old. Go ahead. And Great. we started with inductive proc sensors was mm -hmm. our first technology. Now we've opened it up to photoelectrics, distance sensors, flow, temperature, pressure, uh -huh. level, vibration monitoring, and even 3D cameras that you might see on autonomous vehicles. And autonomous robots. vehicles. Yes. Can I get a sales demo kit for the autonomous autonomous vehicle, which I can't even say? That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, wow. If you trust it. If I trust it. Flow meters are boring compared to cars that drive by themselves. Well, that's great. So today, one of the neat products that you have, that of all the things you have, is a magnetic flow meter there. So yes. you've got uh, uh, a magnetic flow meter, which we use for liquid-based applications there, mm -hmm. or conduct with liquid applications. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, how does a magnetic flow meter work? Yeah, so as stated, it has to be a conductive media because there's a copper coil that goes around the uh -huh. flow meter like this, okay. and it emits a, a voltage. and that the flow rate of that media going through there is proportional to the change in that voltage. So we got to have a conductive media, and then the mag meter, remember back in uh, high school where you took that uh, nail and wrapped a copper wire around it and yeah. hooked it up to a lantern battery, which I'm dating myself now, a 9-volt battery, and you made a magnet. So we made yeah. a magnet. Yeah, exactly. And the conductive media went through there, and the electrodes basically pick up the, uh, the change in the, the voltage there. That's so true. the theory of sound... Faraday's law has been around for a very, very long time there. So why does uh, IFM knock it out of the park with their mag meter? Yeah, so our goal was to have the same technology but have a better price-performance ratio, put it in a little bit of a smaller package. Yeah. And I know it's still heavy, but uh, and, and a price that, that fits the customer. Now, this, you met, this, is, this is a real mag meter. This is a real yeah. hunk of metal here, yeah, it's and heavy. it's a substantial device there. So this is not a piece of plastic, something like that. So... Um, the, the price points and the sizes, what, what size is this available in? Yeah, so right now for the integrated MPT, we have half inch, one inch, and two inch fittings. Okay, and this uh, is a two inch here today? This is a two inch. We also have ones that have male straight threads, and uh -huh. we have adapters that can take it to half, three quarter, one inch, and two inch MPT. We also have flange fittings for that. So, so any way you want, we can plumb it into the line there, depending upon your, your process connection there. That's and correct. Your, those different line sizes. So. What's on the front? You got a display there? Yeah, so we have a display. So you'll be able to read temperature from this in Fahrenheit or Celsius yeah. or flow rate, uh, gallon per minute, gallon per hour. Okay. It also has a totalizer feature in so the sensor. So it has local display. That's the local information. What is the output information? What kind of signals does this guy yeah, have? So this sensor here, there's there's two versions. One has a discrete output, an mm -hmm. on and off, that you could use for a totalizer or an alarm. Okay. And the second output will be an analog that you could use for flow rate or for the temperature coming oh, back. Oh, wow. And then there's a second, if you don't need a discrete totalizer type function, that has an output, an analog output for flow mm -hmm. and an analog output for temperature. So you could get both wow. from this meter. Now, I understand for the advanced communication guys, you even have another tier of information you can get out of this. Yeah, this might be a little teaser for a future tech review, but there's something now called IOLINK. Okay. And there's, the, there's a chip that's put in a lot of the sensors now that are being made right. that goes to another IOLINK master that has the chip that communicates through a field bus protocol. So this, TC, TCP IP. you can basically see the mapping of the register and then bring all that information back out. Then, exactly. Huh? So now it allows us to not just get two pieces of information from this flow meter. Yeah. It, everything. Everything even, that's in there. Even how many it hours out. it's been in operation for. That is amazing there. This yeah. is one smart magnetic flow meter. Of course, those yeah. are all different models as you order them that have those different features there. That's correct. And... I mean, just remember the the IOLINK chips and all the sensors, yeah. but but you don't have to use that feature. We always will be able to use you know you four just wire use the, to the yeah, four to twenty, and you're happy for the basic applications. But for the advanced users there, this is this is a basic, and then is an also advanced uh, magnetic flow meter there. Correct. So you have this this real process control manufactured hunk of metal. It's, this is a an industrial built kind of technology, 
And uh, uh, what Instruments Direct does is we sell this meter as a kit, so you get the meter and then a communication cable and power cable that comes back out, uh, and then a grounding ring clip you can use for plastic pipe applications there. So we make it very easy for you to select the model that you want for your application. So what you, you need to determine your pipe size and uh, your flow rate to size your particular meter there. Mm -hmm. So we know the sizes that's available. Uh, you mentioned the budget pricing there. Uh, the, a half inch kit is under $600. It, how can you buy a mag meter for under $600? That's a piece of stainless steel, basically. So it's difficult. That, how do you make any money at that? Is this just a hobby for IFM? It's, it's not about us, it's about our customers. <laughs> so you've heard this from the source right here there. So where do we use this type yeah, of technology? So this technology is used for a lot of different waters, cooling water, so wastewater. Any, anything's kind of water-based yeah. then. Uh, so induct, induction heat furnaces on wastewater treatment skids, uh, chemicals that are water-based that are compatible yeah. with stainless steel. Cooling lines, uh, yeah. water lines, well lines, anything that's got something there. And you mentioned chemicals, as long as it's compatible with the materials construction was basically uh, stainless steel technology there. Yeah. And it's conductive. So some trick questions there is you, just like all mag meters, this needs about say 20 micromoles or microsiemens of conductivity. So water applications, but there's some zingers like uh, DI water or demineralized water, there's no solids in there, so there's no conductivity for magnetic flow meters per se. Mm -hmm. uh, but anything other than that, there's water just about most applications there until you get into the hydrocarbon world there. Well, this is a great technology at a great price, uh, a wide range of applications there. Uh, and so uh, what we're going to do here is uh, uh, talk about more information as far as applications. You mentioned again, uh, you're going to put in these liquid applications there, but the outputs from this device, you can tie this into a PLC. You can tie this into your batch controlling system there, mm -hmm. easily tie it into a remote display. So this is in the field and you want to go back to the control room there. Uh, okay. So we even have customers that will plug it straight into the wall and just use the display itself. And, and that's the only feedback they, they So have. basic plain vanilla or you can get the tutti frutti flavor, whatever you want. Yes. You have those different choices with this magnetic flow meter. Well, that's great. Well. Uh, Jeff, I appreciate you bringing out the SM Series Mag Meter today uh, for our tech review. If you'd like to learn some more information about this particular technology, look at the show notes listed below and you'll see some information on the IFM and the SM Magnetic Flow Meter. Jeff, Thank thanks you. for coming out today. Thank you very much. All right. We'll see you on the next tech review.